everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this amazing beast hat. This was so much fun to make. We are using all kinds of yarn today. I am so excited. Uh, we're using shades of brown. You can use any type of um, colors that you want. I'll show you all the yarn we're gonna use today, all the supplies we need, and we'll get right into making this awesome hat. This hat is made for the beast um, type of hat, but you can make it into a teddy bear hat. You don't even have to have, you know, any of the embellishments on it. You don't have to have the fur. You don't have to have the horns or the ears. You can just have a plain, nice, thick, warm hat. This hat is so heavy and so warm. It is perfect for anybody living in Arctic temperatures in the winter. So <laughs> I know I am when it comes around rolling around winter in Wisconsin. It is so cold over here. So this hat is perfect for the winter season. Now let's get right into the supplies we need. I am using four different types, or actually five different types of yarn today. Um, you, I'm using this Red Heart Boutique, or I'm sorry, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Uh, I'm using two colors of that. Okay, so I'm gonna use warm brown, and we're using the warm brown for the ears and the main shell of the hat. Okay, you can kind of see the stitches in there that we are using some of that warm brown color in the main part of the hat and the ears. So that warm brown and for the tassels here, I'm using warm brown as well. And then for the mohawk part, I'm using, um, in with this fur, I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver in coffee. Okay, that's coffee. These two yarns are the same type of yarn. So they are a size four medium worsted weight yarn. And that's just any, you know, medium. You could use a double knitting yarn if you don't have a worsted weight yarn available. So those are uh, the two that I'm using for that. Now for this fur, for the shell of the hat, for around the ears, this fur is this one right here and I only have this much left. Um, oh, for this, for I'm sorry, for this yarn and uh, for the warm brown and the coffee, I'm using uh, just small amount. So I'm using about 20 yards of the coffee and about 50 yards of this warm brown. I, I would say maybe 75 yards of the warm brown because I'm using them for the ears as well. But for the uh, fur, for the shell of the hat and around the ears, I am use I use three skeins of this Peyton's Theo yarn. Okay, this is an acrylic yarn. Oh, it's a wool and acrylic and nylon blend. And these are, let's see here, I'm not sure how many yards this is. Hmm. It doesn't say, they, oh there it is, 39 yards. So I used three skeins, but I have this much left over. So 39 times three, you'll have to do the math. I'll put that information in my blog. I don't, I'm not doing the math over on the top of my head, but this is a super bulky yarn. And the color I'm using is Honey Dijon. Okay, so it's like a mustard color, and um, I'm using that for the main part of my hat and around the ears. So make sure you have something equivalent to that. You could use a real fur or any fuzzy or bulky yarn. Like I said, this is a super bulky size 6 yarn, so you can use any super bulky yarn that you have. That's for the main part of the hat. Now for the mohawk part of the hat, we are using boutique fur and like I said I'm using that coffee yarn with it. So I'm using two strands at the same time using the coffee yarn and this Red Heart boutique fur yarn and I used all 11 yards of that and you can see on the back of the hat it doesn't even come all the way down. So this is the back of the hat and it just ends right in the mid back. Okay but we do use that whole 11 yards of this Red Heart boutique fur yarn and the color I used is mink. Okay, so you can get that as well for the mohawk part. And then lastly, the horns. We are using uh, Lion Brand yarn, and this is Heartland yarn. And I'm just using probably, I don't know, 25, 30 yards of this just to make the two horns. Very minimal amount. And this one is called Sequoia. That's the color I'm using for the horns. Okay, and uh, this is just a 251 yard um, skein of yarn, but like I said, I only used about 25 to 30 yards of this Lion Brand yarn Heartland, so you can have that as well, or you can have any, um, let's see, what size is this one? 
I don't think it says the size. Oh, there it is, a size four medium. So another worsted weight yarn you can use for the horns, it doesn't matter. Uh, or if you have a double knitting type of yarn, you can use that as well. So those are the types of yarns. So I guess, yeah, four types of yarns today we are using. And you're going to need some polyfill. I just, just a small amount, a handful, just to stuff the horns with that. And then the size hooks we're going to use. So for the main part, our hat shell and our hat mohawk, we are using an L size hook, which is eight millimeters. If you can't find this size hook, you can use a bigger hook, maybe going up to, um, let me see, what size is this one? A nine millimeter, if you have an, uh, an N size hook, you can use either one of these for the mohawk part or and the uh, shell part of the hat, okay? So a uh, big, big hook for those ones. Then for the horns and the ears, and yeah, that's all we need. For the horns and the ears, we're using a G hook, which is 4.25 millimeters. If you don't have this hook, you can use a four millimeter hook, or you can go up to an, an H size hook, which is um, five millimeters. So I'll put all that information in the pattern on my website as well. You're going to also need a sewing needle because we are going to be sewing on these embellishments to our hat. And then you're also going to need a scissors to cut our yarn and cut off any extra stragglers and everything like that. So those are all the supplies we are going to need today. Uh, but before we start making this hat, I want to mention there are links in the description of this video. So you will find a link to the blog where you'll get the written pattern for this beast hat. But like I said, it doesn't have to be a beast hat. You can make it a teddy bear hat. You can just have the shell of the hat. You can just have the mohawk on the hat or just the horns. You can really mix and match, make whatever type of hat you want to make today, um, but I'm going to show you all of these embellishments and everything to make this full hat uh, to complete this whole thing. And this is perfect for like a Halloween costume or just for the winter. Like I said, it's super heavy <laughs> and so warm. Like, wow. So before we start, I have to mention though, there are links in the description of this video. So um, the other links in there are the link to my Facebook and Instagram. If you make this hat, I definitely want to see what you come up with. This is so fuzzy and so much fun to make. Um, in this video, it might be a little difficult to see my stitches, but uh, if you follow along with a written pattern, it will be much easier to make this hat. And it's not very difficult at all. I think anybody can make it. It's just, it's going to be difficult to see my stitches in the video, but if if you follow along with the written pattern on my website, just click that link and follow along. You'll be able to find your stitches and be able to make it using this fuzzy yarn. And why not challenge yourself? You know, use a different media of um, yarn. Um, we usually use Red Heart Super Saver yarn, and I like to use fur sometimes or different types of mediums to make interesting pieces. So this is a lot of fun to make. Also, there's a link to my Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you uh, make this, make sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your work. And then also on, um, you can follow me on Snapchat. Make sure you follow me there. You can Snapchat me a video of you in your hat or a little photo of you in your hat. I'd like to see those as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Last thing, I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmed, for taking the time to make these videos with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that I button in the corner of this video so you can support us in any way you can. Any support is greatly appreciated so we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. So Let's get started and make this amazing beast hat. Let's start out with your bulky fuzzy yarn and that's the uh, Peyton's Theo yarn and the Red Heart Super Saver uh, yarn. We're using both strands at the same time and we're going to make a slip knot. So I'm putting them both together, putting the short ends over the long ends, then folding this down and then pulling that through and pulling tight. Okay, I'm going to use my eight millimeter crochet hook for this part of the hat and we're going to insert it into that loop and then pull tight so we can start. 
Now, I apologize for the fact that you won't probably be able to see all my stitches because this fuzzy yarn is uh, going to be in the way, but uh, if you see the basic beanie hat pattern on my website, uh, you'll be able to make a hat shell uh, just doing it that way, and you'll be able to see the stitches on there. But I'm just going to work with this to show you how to work with uh, this fuzzy yarn. So to start off, we're going to chain um, four. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, and four. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, if you can find it over here, we are going to put um, eight double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into that first chain way over here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops on your hook. Okay, that's a double crochet. So that's what we're going to use throughout this pattern. So we had to put eight of those in that same chain. So that was one. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's two. And you can see I'm working with both of these strands at the same time. This is three. Okay, yarn over, go back into that same chain. You really have to feel around for it. Okay, there it is. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four. Okay, four. This is five, six, seven. and eight. Okay, I did keep my fingers over that chain um, hole in the middle so that I could just guide my uh, hook to that. So that you can see here is round number one. If you need to count back the posts, you can count just using your fingers to kind of go between the stitches and count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this chain up three right here is nine. Okay, so you should have nine stitches all together. And we're gonna go in between the posts now. We're going uh, in between this chain up three and this double crochet here. We're gonna go into there and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through and through. Okay, and that was round one. Going right into round number two, we're going to chain up two one and two, and that's not gonna count as anything. That's just getting us to the height we need. And now we're going to work in between our stitches, okay, in between the posts. It's much easier, that way you don't have to be searching for the stitch itself. We're actually going in between the posts of these double crochets, okay? And we're going to put two double crochets in between each of the posts. So yarn over, go in between this chain of three and this double crochet here, and make two double crochets. So one, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two hop to the next space between these two double crochets and make two double crochets in there. So one and two. Okay, just like that. Then hop to the next space between these two and put two double crochets in there. So just put two double crochets between each uh, stitch and then I'll meet you up for round three and we'll go, yeah, we'll just go on to round three after this. At the end of round two, you should have 18 stitches, um, which it does not include this chain up two here. So you'll have to count 18 stitches all the way around, just going around each post and making sure that you have 18 stitches. And then we can slip stitch to the beginning, but like we did last round, we're just going to go in um, after this first double crochet here. So you see there's a chain up two, 
stitch, then there's their double crochet and another double crochet. So we're actually going to go in between the two double crochets and make our slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, because that chain up two didn't count as anything. So this is what it looks like so far. We have to go on to another increase round. We are going to chain up two, and then we're putting two double crochet into the, uh, this space and then one double crochet into the next space and repeating that. So in between these double crochets, we're putting two double crochets. So one and two. And then in between these ones, this next space right here, we're going to only put one double crochet. So just one. Okay. Then in the next space, we're going to put two double crochets. So one and two. And then in this next space, we're only going to put one double crochet. Then the next space, we're going to put two double crochet. And then the next space only gets one. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 27 double crochets. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round four. All right, when you have your 27 stitches all the way around, you just want to count them to make sure you have 27 uh, because it is kind of difficult to see your stitches on these uh, rounds. So once you have your 27, you want to go in between the first two double crochets, okay? So not this chain up two right here, but actually in between the two double crochets, just slip stitch in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through and then chain up two and we'll go on to round four. So for round four, we're gonna do another increase. We're going to put two double crochets in this first space between the two double crochets. Okay, so two double crochets in there and then one double crochet between the next, in the next two spaces. So on this side right here and then the next space, the next gap between the two double crochets right here. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that. So next space between these two double crochets, we're putting two double crochets. One and two. Okay, and then in this next space, we're just putting one double crochet. And the next space, we're only putting one double crochet. Okay, and then we're just repeating. So put two double crochet in between these uh, in the next space and then two, or I'm sorry, one double crochet in the next two spaces between the stitches. We're working between the stitches, um, between the posts because it's really difficult to see our stitches anyways. So at the end of this round, round four, you should have 36 double crochets and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round five together. When you're finished with round four, you want to slip stitch between the first two double crochets. So right in here, just go in between the posts, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we're done increasing. Um, this is going to fit an adult size head. So I'm just going to put one double crochet between each stitch. So chain up two, but again, that doesn't count as anything. And just put one double crochet in between these two posts and in between every post around. And you should have 36 stitches. And we're gonna do that for rounds five and six. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So next five rounds, so until round nine, and then around round nine, I'll meet you up uh, because it's just the same. We're just going to slip stitch to the beginning, chain up two, and double crochet around. It's a very simple uh, stitch. If you need to see the basic beanie hat pattern, you can do that as well, or refer to the written pattern on my website if you're a little confused. Uh, and then I'll meet you up when I finish round nine, and we'll go on to making the ear flaps. Alright, so I ended up just doing eight rounds uh, in total here, 
um, like to round eight. Um, you could do to round nine if you want to, but I tried the hat on and it actually stops where my eyebrows are and that's where I want to end. So if you want to try the hat on, if you need to do an extra round or two um, to make this longer, you can until you go on to the uh, ear flaps, which is where we're going to go now. So this fits on my head, so now I just want to do the ear flaps. So to do that, where you uh, slip stitch to the beginning here, we are going to chain up two, one and two, and that, again, that doesn't count as anything, but we're going to make um, six double crochets, okay? So in the spaces between these posts, we are going to put a double crochet in the next six stitches, okay? In the next six spaces. So yarn over, go into this space right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's one. Next space is two. Next space is three. Next space is four. Okay, we're doing double crochets. This next space is five. And the next space is six. Okay, just like that. Now we are going to turn our work. So we're going to turn it around. So we're looking at the inside of our hat and we're going to work across these six uh, stitches here. And we are going to chain up two, one, two. And again, in between each one of these, we are going to put a double crochet. So again, you want six double crochets. So in between these space here, we put one. Then the next space, is two, then the next space is three, then the next space is four, this next one is five, and in between the chain up two and the first double crochet here, we're going to also put a double crochet in there, okay, for a sixth double crochet, just like that. Now we're going to turn our work back, so we're looking at the outside of our hat, and we're going to chain up two. Okay, now I want to decrease one stitch. Okay, so we're going to do a double crochet decrease, and we're going to yarn over, go into the space between these first two double crochets right in here, yarn over, pull through, okay? Yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, so now you have two loops on your hook, Yarn over, go through into this next space here. Yarn over, pull through, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops, just like that. So that's a double crochet decrease. Then you wanna feel around for the next space here. We're just gonna put a regular double crochet in there. Okay, then a regular double crochet in the next space a regular double crochet in the next space, and a regular double crochet in between the chain up two and this first double crochet here. Okay, so you should have five stitches on this row. Now chain up two, one and two, turn your work, and we're going to uh, do another decrease. So we're going to yarn over, go in between these first two double crochets here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the next space between the next two double crochets, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, so now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that's a double crochet decrease. Now we're going, we're going to double crochet in the next three spaces here, one, two, or actually the next four spaces, sorry. So yarn over, go into the space, yarn over, pull through. Oh no, you're right, three spaces. This space right here, sorry guys. You gotta really feel around in there. There's going to be four double crochets on this row. So that double crochet decrease was one. This next one is two. This next one is three. And this next one in between these two stitches, this decrease stitch, and this chain up two is our fourth stitch of this row, row. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna chain up two and turn our work. 
So now we have four stitches. We are going to decrease both of those, okay? So we're going to do a double crochet decrease between these first two stitches. One decrease, just like that. Then yarn over, pull through all three of those loops, okay? And then feel for the next space and the space between the chain up two and this decrease stitch, okay? So yarn over, go into this first space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go in between the chain up two and your decrease stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And now we're going to fasten off this um, this ear flap. So chain one, cut your yarn, whoopsie, <laughs> pull that all the way through and pull it tight. Okay, so there's one ear flap. Now you want to fold this in half like this, okay, and you want the other ear flap to be on the opposite side of this one. So we're just going to flip this over, kind of feel around where that would be, probably around, I would say about right here. Okay, that is opposite of this side. And we're going to attach our yarn into that space. Okay, you don't really have to count stitches, it's just right across from that one. I'm just gonna hook my new yarn on here, just like that, pull it through that space, chain up two, one and two, and we're going to double crochet into that same space. So yarn over, go into that same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, then we're going to double crochet into the next five. Okay, because that was one, so we have to have six stitches. So this next one, next space is number two, double crochet, three, four, five, and six, okay? Then, like I showed you before, just uh, if you need to rewind um, how, to show how I did this first one, otherwise I'll just meet you up after I finish this ear flap. It's exactly the same as the other ear flap, so we're going to turn our work and we're going to double crochet across and then we're going to do our decreases. So just rewind this to see that and then I'll meet you up when your next ear flap is finished. All right, so I just finished my other ear flap and I fastened off exactly like I did on the other ear flap where I chained up one and then cut that yarn and pulled it all the way through. So now I have this loose end and we wanna make sure we uh, sew in our ends as we go. So this is going to be um, thicker yarn, but we wanna just take our yarn needle and put this on our yarn needle, okay? And it's gonna be quite difficult because this is thick yarn. Uh, if you have a bigger yarn needle, they make those um, bigger ones. That, those will probably be easier to sew on this bulky yarn. But um, this seems to work a little bit. So we just want to yarn our needle with both of these colors. Just like that. And then go into our piece underneath some of the stitches. Just hiding those, those loose ends. Okay, just like that, pull it, and you can go underneath some. Just make sure they're completely hidden inside of these um, stitches here. And if you can't pull out your needle, grab a pliers to help you pull it out. Just like that. Okay, and then cut any extra that you may have. Stretch it out, make sure that's hidden. And there you have your ear flaps. Awesome. All right, now the next step is to make um, the ears for this hat. So what I need you to do is get uh, just the, the warm brown color from Red Heart Super Saver and your G size hook, okay? And we are going to make the ear. So to start out the ear, we are going to I've just set my hat aside there, and we're just going to make a slip knot with this yarn. So just one one strand of yarn for the ear. We're just going to put the short end over the long end, fold this down, and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook, that G hook, 
You can use an H size hook for this part too if you wanted to. Um, we're not stuffing the ears or anything. So you want to chain two, so yarn over and pull through, one and two. And then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So that was one, go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, that's two. Go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. This is four, five, and six. Okay, now is where we want to put our stitch marker because we are going to work in continuous rounds. So I'm just gonna stick a different color piece of yarn in there. And we're going to work through the back loops only. So usually we work through both loops like this. Okay, both loops. But we're actually gonna work through only the back loops right here. So the back loop, so you can see there's front loop. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. Back loop, okay? So we're just gonna go into that and we're gonna put two single crochets into each stitch around. So we'll have a total of 12 single crochet at the end of round two. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, again, working in the back loops only. Next stitch, back loop only, put two single crochets in there. One and two. Okay, next stitch gets two next stitch in the back loop only two single crochets okay and we have two stitches left here one and two and the last stitch one and two just like that so now we have 12 single crochets around I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we are going to work on round three. So for round three, we want to put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the stitch after that and then repeat that around. So go into this next stitch in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, go back into that same stitch and put another single crochet in there, then hop to the next stitch and only put one single crochet in there. Then hop to the next stitch and put two single crochets in there, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and just repeat that around. Like I said, you'll have 18 single crochets at the end of this round. So I'll meet you up for round four. All right, I have my 18 single crochets around. Now I want to go on to the next round, round four. I'm moving my stitch marker up and we want to put two single crochets in the first stitch one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. But again, I'm working in the back loops only. Okay, so one and one, just like that. So repeat, go two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one and one. Okay, and then repeat that around. You should have 24 single crochets at the end of round four. So I'll just uh, meet you up and we'll go on to round five together. All right, going on to round five. L round five is our last increase round and I'm gonna move my stitch marker up and we are going to put two single crochet in the first stitch. So one and two. And then one single crochet in the next three stitches this time. So one, one and one, okay? And then just repeat that around. So we're gonna put two single crochets in the next stitch, whoops, in the back loop only, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, at the end of round five, you'll have 30 stitches, and uh, that's our end of our increase. So then I'll meet you up when we go on to round six. All right, so now we have finished increasing. We have our uh, 30 single crochets all the way around. So now I'm gonna move my stitch marker up and for round six through 12, we are just going to put one single crochet into each stitch around, okay? So for round six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and 12, we are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. And when you come back around um, one round, you know, make sure to put your stitch marker up so you know where to mark your next round. And then uh, when I finish round 12, because I'm just going to put one single crochet in each stitch, basically, that's the rest of this um, ear pattern. When I am ready to fasten off, I will meet you up and then we will go on to putting the fur on the ears and then sewing it to our hat. All right, I just finished round 12 of the ears. This is what it should look like. If you want, you can go on to making more rounds if you want your ear to be taller. Um, just fasten off when you feel comfortable. Just make sure you flatten it out. Make sure it's like this and it looks like an ear. Um, if you can see that, there we go, like that. So if you want to just flatten it out and you can kind of stretch it out to make it taller or you can uh, do extra rounds to make it as big or as tall as you want. And when you're ready to fasten off, I'm gonna fasten off at round 12 here. So to fasten off, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch under both loops, okay, front loop and back loop. Yarn over, pull through and through and then chain up one and we're going to cut our yarn quite long because we are going to use it for sewing. So I'm just going to cut my yarn there, pull that all the way through and then pull tight. Okay, and there we have our long strand. Can remove our stitch marker and there is what our, our ear looks like. Now I want to add fur to my ears so I'm going to actually crochet along this edge. Okay, so fold yours or I guess flatten your ear where you want it to uh, look. So this will be my front of my ear and I'm going to crochet fur around this edge all the way around it. Okay, so I'm going to start at this end. I'm just going to go into the front loops or around um, the stitches here. So I'm just going to go into here. You can see I'm going in. You can either just do it in the front loops like this or you can go around the whole stitch. Okay, it really doesn't matter. You won't see it very much. And we're just going to hook on our our fur. I'm using the G hook here um, and I'm just going to pull that through just like that and then I'm going to chain up one. Okay and now for this part it's going to be a little tricky but we're going to pull this loop up okay and then we're going to go to um, we're going to skip a row and go into the next row on the folded part of our ear and then yarn over and pull through okay kind of pull up yarn over and pull through two loops, okay, and then again pull up. So you have room to then skip a row, go into the next row up here, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over and pull through two loops, pull up, okay, and then skip the next row, go into the next row right here, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through two loops and pull up. And we're just going to do that all the way around the ear. So I'm coming up here, we're skipping a row, going up to the next row, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and you can see I'm pulling that stitch up to so stretch it out, and then I'm going to come all the way up to here. I'm at the top of my ear. Okay, we're just going to go through one row, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and then pull that up, going into the center here, okay, and just doing single crochets along the edge of the ear, just like so. I'm on the other, other half of my ear now, going down the ear, Okay, and you just want to make sure this that the fur just gets on the edge of this ear. Now, if you wanted to, you could sew this on or you could slip stitch around, but I'm just going to single crochet all along this to give it a little extra fur. Okay, also, you don't even need to have fur on this. You could have just fastened off where the ear was um, just the ear part and don't have to have fur on it. Totally up to you. So this is kind of a creator's choice section here. All right, so now once we get back to this side here and we want to fasten off, I'm just going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on my hook to make a slip stitch. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm going to cut this yarn, the fur, and pull it all the way through, pull it, ooh, 
don't pull too tight. <laughs> pull it tight, okay? Now mine's short, but it'll stay. And then we wanna just shove the, um, the loose ends, this loose end into the ear, and this loose end into the ear, kind of stuff it inside, okay? And then we're gonna fold our ear in half like this, okay? And we're gonna use this long strand to sew our ear, and then it's gonna look like this on our hat, okay? So I kind of fold it and have like the inner ear part. Okay, so if you need to, rewind this part to make another ear, and then I'll meet you up when you have your second ear made, and we can sew them to the hat. Alright, so I made my other ear, and then off camera, I sewed on one ear to my hat. So now I'm going to show you how to sew on your ears. So you look at your hat like this, okay, flatten it out, make sure you're looking at the front, and then you want to mark where you want your ears to be. So I just took another piece of yarn and just shoved it in here and made sure that's where I want my ear to be, and then I made one over here, and then I sewed this one on. So I'm going to make my other ear where I marked this part here. So I'm going to set this on it. And remember how I told you like to fold this in half? We don't have to fold it all the way in half, but just kind of like crease it down the center here and we're going to kind of sew it on like this in that spot where I marked it okay so it's even with the other side okay so then you're going to need your yarn needle and we're going to remember we cut this really long strand because we are going to sew this on with this long strand so I turned my hat upside down and I had my my earpiece like this and made sure it was pretty even where I marked my stitch and then we're just going to whip stitch it all the way around so I started right here okay went in to the hat and then into the stitches on my ear okay and just pulled through just like that and we're just gonna go into the hat and then up through the two layers of the ear and you can skip a few stitches to kind of fold this so I skipped like two stitches and then I went in to the ear and then pulled okay and then again over here just going up the hat into a few stitches skipped a couple of stitches and went into the next few stitches in both layers of the ear and then pull Okay, and that way it starts to curve this to make it folded. Okay, so again, right over here, under these stitches, skip a few stitches, go into these ones, both layers, and then pull. So we're just whip stitching this. You can remove your stitch marker if you get distracted or if it's in the way, and then we're just going to continue. Okay, so you can see it starts to cup that, or I guess uh, fold that in half a little bit. And then go in both layers. Okay, and then we're going to go back around. So we're going to make sure that it's all secure. Okay, so now it's secure on this side. So now I'm going to go back to the other side. Okay, just going like this. Make sure to pull tight if you want more of a fold in your ear. Okay, and I'm almost done. Just two more stitches. Just like that. All right, now to fasten off, I'm going to go into a couple of stitches just like this. I'm going to pull this but I'm going to hold this loop up okay and then I'm going to wrap it around and go back in okay and then pull tight and that ties it in a knot okay and we're going to do that a couple times you could do it two or three times so go back into those stitches hold this loop up okay go back around it into that loop and then pull tight Okay, and then we just want to hide this straggler, this loose end, so I'm just going to go up into the ear. Okay, 
okay, and hide it inside of the ear layers and just trim and stretch. And there you have it. Okay, so make sure you sew on your other ear. And you know, you could end at this point and just have like a teddy bear style of a hat. That's really cute. But I am going to uh, be making the mohawk and the horns next. So stay tuned and we'll do that next. All right, so this is what my hat looks like with both ears. And now I'm going to make the horns and then we're going to make the little mohawk in the middle here. So I'm gonna set this aside and grab my Heartland uh, yarn in Sequoia. Okay, and we are going to use the G size hook and we're going to make two of these horns. So to do that, we're going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold that down and pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So to start off the horn, we are going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And now in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put five single crochets. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two, right? In the second chain from the hook, we're going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's a single crochet. So you had to put five of those in there. So that was one, next is two, this is three, four, and four five. All right, now is where we should put our stitch marker in. We grab a different color yarn here. Okay, you can put your stitch marker in right there. That's where the end of the round is. We're going to work in continuous rounds and again, just like the ears, we're going to work in the back loops only. So in this next round, round two, we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch around. So again, five single crochets. So next stitch gets one, so this is one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three. It's gonna be kind of tight and small, but bear with me here. This is four and five. Okay, remember back loops only. All right, so there's round two. Now going into round three, we are again going to put one single crochet into each stitch around. So move your stitch marker up and put one single crochet into each stitch. So that's again, five single crochet. So one, this is two, three, four, and five. Okay, then going on to round four, we are going to put our stitch marker up, just like that. And then we are going to, let's see, what does the pattern say? Two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so this very next stitch right here, or our first stitch of this round, we're gonna put two single crochets in there. So one and two in that back loop only, okay? Then we're gonna put two single crochets in the next stitch right here. One and two. Okay, and then in the last three stitches, we're only going to put one single crochet. So put one single crochet in this next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the last stitch right here. All right, then move your stitch marker up and we can go on to round five. Round five says to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So go into this next stitch right here. One and two. All right, and two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. 
Okay, then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So a single crochet decrease is going into this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a decrease. And then we're going to single crochet into the last stitch of this round. Just like that. Then we are going to move our stitch marker up and go on to round six. So move stitch marker up. For round six, it says to put two single crochets into the next stitch. So this first stitch right here, put two single crochets in there. One and two. Okay, again, back loops only. Next stitch gets two single crochets. One and two. Then the next stitch gets one single crochet. And same with the next stitch, only one single crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So again, go into this next stitch, pull through, then go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, single crochet decrease. Then we're going to single crochet into the last two stitches on this round. One and two. Okay, then we can move our stitch marker up. Okay, and after uh, round six, you should have nine stitches. So now going on to round seven, we want to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So two single crochets here. One and two. And two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. Then we want to put a single crochet into the next two si uh, stitches. So next stitch only gets one single crochet. And the next stitch only gets one single crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So decrease, go in, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's a single crochet decrease. And then we're going to single crochet into the last three stitches on this round. So go into this next stitch, make a single crochet, go into the next stitch, single crochet, and the next stitch. Remember, back loops only. Just like that. Then move your stitch marker up. Okay, going on to round eight and nine, we're just putting one single crochet into each stitch. So uh, do that, just one single crochet on rounds eight and nine, and make sure to move your stitch marker up. There should be 10 single crochets on each round. So then I'll meet you up after I finish round nine, and we'll go on to round 11, or 10. Sorry, I meant we were going on to round 10. I just finished round nine here. So uh, it was round eight and nine that just got one single crochet into each stitch around. So when you finish round nine, I'm going to move the stitch marker up and going on to round 10, we are going to do um, just a single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, so move that stitch marker up and then put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we have to put a uh, two single crochets in the next stitch. So increase, put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two. And then the next stitch also gets two single crochets. So one and two, just like that. And then the uh, last three stitches get one single crochet. So one, one, and last one gets one. Just like that. So now at the end of round 10, you should have 12 single crochets. Now moving my stitch marker up, going on to round 11, we are going to do a single crochet decrease. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a single crochet decrease. Then we're going to put a regular single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, one, and one. Okay, then we're going to put uh, two single crochets in the next stitch. 
one and two, then two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then we're just going to put one single crochet in the last five stitches. So this next stitch, remember back loop only, one, two, three, oops, four, and five. Okay, so those last five stitches get one single crochet each, just like that. Then move your stitch marker up and we can go on to round 12. We want to do a single crochet decrease. So again, just like the last round, insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, just like that. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, one, and one. Okay, then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And then we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the last, uh, it should be five stitches, I think. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches, sorry. Six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the last six stitches. So now we can go on to round, let's see, 13. So after round 12, you should have 14 single crochets. So round 13 is basically the same thing we, we're doing. So move up your stitch marker, do a single crochet decrease over these first two stitches. Okay, then put a single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then put two single crochets in each of the next two stitches. One and two, next stitch, one and two. And then we're just gonna put one single crochet in each of the last seven stitches this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, then move your stitch marker up. And now rounds 14, 15, and 16, we are just putting one single crochet into each stitch around. So do that, just one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 14, 15, and 16. And then when I'm finishing round 16, I'll meet you up and we'll fasten off together. All right, I just did my last three rounds off camera, just doing rounds 14, 15, and 16, just one single crochet in each stitch around, and that's 15 single crochets on each round. And now we're going to fasten off. So go into this next stitch right here under both loops, front and back, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook, and then chain one, and cut the yarn kind of long because we will be using that for sewing, and just continue to pull that all the way through and pull tight. You can remove the stitch marker, and there's one of your horns. It's like twisted and creepy looking, okay? So now, just rewind this, make another one of these horns, and then once you have your other one done, we'll stuff them and attach them to the hat. All right, once you have both of your horns done, we want to stuff them, so grab some polyfill, uh, just a tad bit of it, and then we're going to start stuffing. So just go in, and you want to make sure that you can get it all the way to the tip top of the horn, okay? But don't stuff too much where you see the, the f uh, filling in between the stitches here. So I stuffed a little too much in that area, so I'm just gonna pull some out. Kind of make sure that it looks good and then stuff a little bit more in there. Okay, and you just want to stuff until you feel comfortable, just like that. Okay, that looks good. So now 
grab your hat and I already sewed one on off camera you want to sew them on looking at your um, your ears right on the inside of your ear okay but you want there to be room for the mohawk to fit right down in the center so I'm just going to line it up how I want it and you want the uh, twisted part or the crooked um, curled part to be going like inward and upward like this okay so I'm going to turn mine a little bit make sure that it's even on both sides okay and then we're just going to sew them on just like we did the ears so grab your yarn needle wherever mine went I don't know there it is okay yarn your needle with that long straggler that we uh, cut okay position your horn where you want it to be okay and then just go into the hat but not through both layers we're just gonna go in and pull that through okay and then I'm gonna come back out through here okay and now we're just going to go around like a whip stitch just going into the hat Okay, but again, don't go through both layers of the hat. You don't want to sew your hat closed. So if you need to, have one hand in the hat. And I kind of like pulled this down like that. Okay, make sure it's positioned in the right way. It's going to be a little, you know, troublesome, but you'll get it. Don't worry. Okay, I'm just going to hold that there. And then we're just going to go into the hat and then up through the horn and just whip stitch around just like that okay very similar to how we sewed on the ears okay so I'm just gonna do that um, make sure to sew on the rest of your hat or the rest of your horn to your hat and both horns exactly um, just like this you can, you know, position your horns how you want them to be. If you want them to both be coming in or if you want them both to be going out, totally up to you. I want mine to be um, kind of in. Looks a little more evil, I guess, <laughs> for the beast. Uh, so just uh, do it how you want. Just whip stitch this around just like that. And then fasten off like I showed you for the ear. And then once I have both of my horns done, we can make the mohawk part. Alright, so I sewed on both of my horns just like this, and now it looks more beastly. But I do want to make the little dark mohawk down the center of the hat. So grab uh, some fur yarn, and I'm going to have to reach for it here. There we go. <laughs> it's all the way over there. And this is the uh, boutique Red Heart Boutique fur yarn that I'm using. And I'm going to use a mink. Uh, you can use any color you want. And then we are going to use a Red Heart Super Saver yarn along with it. Uh, I like to crochet it with the um, worsted weight yarn along with this just because it's easier for me to see my stitches. So we're going to use both strands at the same time. I'm going to set the uh, hat aside. And you have both strands like this, okay? And we're going to use them together. I'm going to make a slip knot. Okay, but again, it's going to be kind of difficult to see my stitches. Okay, we're just going to basically make a rectangular piece and sew it on to our hat. Okay, so you have to measure between your horns how wide it is. So let me grab my handy dandy little thing here. Measuring. It's about three inches apart, which is for me about eight centimeters. So I'm going to make um, something that is about three inches. So I'm just going to chain, yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, three, yarn over, pull through, four. So I think that's about three inches. I'm going to measure it. So from here to the end of my chain, here. Yep, that's about three inches. So that's four chains, okay? I'm going to chain an extra one, so chain five. 
And then we're going to work in the second chain from the hook and I'm just going to, um, I think I'll double crochet because it's, it'll be a higher, a higher stitch. So, um, yarn over and pull through, or I'm sorry, don't pull through, yarn over, go into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're just making a, like a rectangular piece. Okay. So we're just working in rows. And again, this is going to be super difficult for you to see, um, but I'll have the written pattern on my website so you'll be able to see um, there what we're doing. And I can even demonstrate for you with a, an easier piece. Let me just get through this row here. So I'm just double crocheting across. So let me, I'm going to do that off camera because it's much uh, faster, but I'm going to hold this for a second. I'll set this aside. Let me grab some other yarn so you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking my yarn. Okay. I'm going to fold this down, make a slip knot. I've showed you that a couple times in this video already. We're taking our hook, putting it inside. And then, like I said, I chained five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I did an extra one. Okay. And that was on my uh, scale for the fur. It was about three inches wide. Okay. So again, you want to measure between your horns what the width is. And then we yarn over and went into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But again, remind yourself that there's, there's fur on here. So I'm, that's what I'm doing for this piece here. Okay. So again, then double crochet across the chain. Okay, so I'm just doing this just to show you exactly what I'm doing with that fur yarn. Okay, so I double crocheted across the chain. Then for row two, I'm just going to chain up two, turn my work, and then I'm going to double crochet in between these posts. Okay, and there's going to be four stitches. So one, two, there's three. And then between the chain up two here and the stitch is the fourth stitch. So four. Okay. And then I'm just going to repeat that. So chain up two, turn your work, double crochet in between the posts. Whoops. In between the posts, double crochet. Okay. And then this piece will fit in between your um, horns. Okay, but I'm just, just repeat that. Okay, so I'm obviously going to set this aside because I'm working with fur, but it's really hard for you to see what I'm doing with the fur. So I just wanted you to see that I am, what I'm doing with the fur. I'm just double crocheting across four stitches. And then, um, so obviously I have to feel around for where the stitches go. And then I'm just going to double crochet and make this as long as I need it to be to fit the mohawk part of my hat. And then I'll meet you up when I have my strip. It'll be like a long strip. Okay, like this. Like probably about this long. And um, it's going to fit from, from here uh, all the way up and then around the hat like this. So I guess it's going to be a little bit longer than that. Maybe about 20 inches. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's very difficult for you to see anyway and then I'll meet you up and uh, we'll sew this to the hat. Okay so I ended up using the full skein of yarn and it didn't really give me all um, to cover the whole piece. Um, if I put this on here it covers the whole front but then half of the back which is okay because the back is is just the back and I kind of like that it'll end here. So I'm just going to fasten off because I use the whole skein. So to fasten off, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through the hook, loop on your hook and then chain one. And we're going to cut this yarn really long because we're going to be using this to sew. And I'm just going to use this worsted weight yarn to sew. So I cut it really super long and we're just going to pull it through that chain one that we just made. Pull it all the way through and then pull it tight. Okay, and now we're going to position this on the hat and we're going to sew this on. Okay, so we're going to put this, um, let me start it right here. Okay, so you want to start, we want to put it right at the bottom there. Kind of have the horns coming on the sides of it. Okay, 
You can kind of stretch it out to kind of fit as far as you want it to go back here. Okay, and just like we sewed on the ears and the uh, horns, we're just gonna sew this piece onto our hat to make this mohawk. So just go into the hat. Okay, not through both layers though. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna pull this all the way through. Here, just don't get your yarn tangled like me. Okay, there we go. And then we're just gonna go back and forth here. Okay, so go back out into the piece. And obviously you won't really be able to see it because I'm working in fur. <laughs> but we're just gonna go out into the piece and just going back and forth in and out of this uh, mohawk piece okay just like that just make sure it is secure so then we're going to come back around and you can even go into the hat and then all the, right back out through all the layers Like that. So just sew this piece on your hat. It's very simple. Just keep sewing. And then uh, once you have this mohawk sewed on, we can finish up our hat. Alright, so I have this uh, mohawk all sewn on from the front to the back. And now I'm just going to fasten off. So I'm inside of the hat here. And we are tying a knot. Very similarly to how I showed you earlier. Just going in, making a loop, going in the loop and pulling tight, and again, going in, holding up that loop, going around it, into it, and pulling tight. And then you want to sew in this end. And then, also, off camera, I did make one of my tassels, so I'll show you how to make a tassel on the ear flaps. Let me just sew in this end real quick. You can cut off any extra. There you go. Okay, so now... There's our hat, and we have the one tassel done, so what we need to do is grab uh, the warm brown yarn, and we're going to make um, strands. I'm going to set this aside real quick, make my workstation clear, and we're going to make strands that are about, um, I'd say, 20 to 24 inches long, okay, so you can just make uh, arm's length and we're going to then take one that's 24 inches long and then fold it in half and make another strand from the ball. And we're going to make 12 of these strands back and forth. So I have three, this is four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12 and once you have 12 strands we're going to cut this and then cut each end okay and then go to the other side and cut each end okay make sure that you cut all 12 strands just like that okay then grab your hat Go to the ear flap part, grab your crochet hook, go in between the two stitches on the very last row here, go in, hook on that sh those 12 strands, and then pull those through the ear flap, okay? And then we're going to make them even on both ends here, okay, get some fur in there, okay? So make sure they are even. And then we're going to tie a knot. So up here, just wrap this around your hand, okay? Kind of like making a slip knot. You're going to turn this, pull this through, okay? And we're going to pull all the way, okay? And then pull tight and make sure that this knot is really snug up against the ear flap way up here, okay? Then we're going to braid this. So take eight strands in each 
um, in three thing, three groupings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight strands there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three strands here, and three and or eight strands here, and eight strands here. And now, if you know how to braid, you can braid these down as long as you want them to be. Um, if you're unsure on how to braid, there are video tutorials. If you just uh, go on YouTube and search how to braid, you can braid these all the way down as long as you want them to be. And then once you get down to the bottom, we can tie a knot. Now, if you're, when you're making your second one, where I'm, I'm making my second one right here, you want to make sure that it matches up the length of your first one that you made on the other ear flap. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let me get a little bit longer here. Okay, so I'm at this point here. Now we want to bring the other ear flap, match the two knots at the top, okay? Then make sure they are the same length and where we want to tie our knot right here. Okay, so they are the same length, so tie our knot again just like we did the top knot. Just pull this around, pull this through, and then pull that. Okay, and again, when you're, tight, when you're tightening your knot, you want to make sure that your braid is the same length as the other braid on the other side. Okay, and pull tight just like that, and they're the same length. Then we want to cut our stragglers. If we have any long strands, we want to cut them. Okay, but be careful with the scissors. You don't want to cut your hand or anything. Okay, and there you have it. Our beast hat is complete. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this hat. It is super heavy. It is going to be so perfect for winter and for Halloween for any costume uh, that you wanted to do. You know, like I said earlier, you could modify this to make this just a teddy bear hat, uh, like um, omitting this mo mohawk and these horns. Uh, you could just have the ears and make it a fluffy teddy bear. Or you could have the mohawk and no accessories, just a nice furry mohawk. You can really make this your own pattern. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this hat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment on this video, comment on my website. If you have any questions, make sure to check out the website first. I'm sure the answer will be in there. And if it's not, just leave me a comment and I will answer that, that question for you. Thanks again for watching everyone. Happy hooking!